Now, this week, just in case you haven't noticed, we're celebrating 50 years of ITV. Things mm -hmm. have changed a lot in the world of television since Westwood started in 1961. And to tell us that story, here's Roger Shaw, an old friend for many viewers in the West Country. The beginning of Westwood is an amazing story. Nobody thought it would work. Television with adverts? Peter Cadbury was the man who raised the cash to get it running and start the studios up at Derry's Cross in Plymouth. The name Westwood came from a golf course at Westwood Ho where he used to play. And the logo was the Golden Hind. And we sincerely want to produce programmes that you will like. And this is where I'd like your help. We don't know what you want until you tell us. Self the main news programme was Westwood Welcome Diary with Ken McLeod. The thick snows of 1963, the Torrey Canyon disaster, Sir Francis Chichester sailing solo around the world featured alongside lighter programmes. I joined Westwood as an announcer, a job I did for nigh on 30 years. Things were perhaps a little more formal in those days. Remember the dinner suits at weekends and the, what now seems rather old-fashioned, the standard English speech? You can comfortably spend the day at Dingle's, where the largest stocks of fine quality goods march with a host of special services unobtainable elsewhere. One of the greatest skills in those days was keeping everything going. Apart from the uh, news and location items, everything that came out of the studio was live. And if a programme underran, you had to have the gift of the gab. Robert Matthew Kingdon... A new TV character Avenue called Gus Honeybun today, also helped fill the gaps. Westwood was a breeding ground for new talent. And it came thick and fast, often to people who didn't even see it coming. Like David Vine, who was a sports editor, but became a sports presenter when the person who was supposed to be doing the sports presenting didn't turn up. I couldn't take a cue, I couldn't over, uh, didn't know what I was doing. And I found out that was the big difference. That was my first appearance ever on the box. So I hope you can stay with us for most of this very full Westwood Diary for the next 50 minutes. Uh, in fact, at that time, I was the youngest newsreader on British television. I was 19, uh, and I used to go to college at 9 o'clock in the morning, finish at 5 o'clock in the evening at Plymouth Art College, and then at 6 o'clock be reading the news on television. So it was, uh, it was great fun. And... At television centres, we had to do a formal closing announcement. Here's the expert to show how it should be done. I hope you've enjoyed our programmes. And until the next time, from all of us here at Westwood Television, this is Roger Shaw wishing you a very good night. And the recording contract never came.